Hit the fans up. Keep on trapping. What is up, guys? We are back. Uh, we got the underglow on the Jag last night. We got some videos of that. That was pretty cool. Today we're working on the interior lights. That's coming, guys. That's what we're about to do. But first, let's check this out. I've been wanting to put a white light behind the mesh and light this up so at night you see that nice mesh grill and it lights up the leaper and this air dam down here, this air intake uh, where this grill is. I've been wanting to light this area up in this area, but this is where the fog lights were go. This is solid behind here, guys. Like, see this? There's plastic in there. And it's not just the mesh. Like, see, this one is just the mesh. There's no solid piece here. So I was like, man, you can't really light this up the same way but I found something very interesting this is what I want to show you this right here is the plug for the fog light let me explain this so if I have the harness here and the switch is inside I can just take out let's see where is it I can just take out that plastic piece it'll come out it'll pop right out of here there's probably clips on the end yeah there sure are yeah so there's clips on the ends and like this probably come out real easy uh, I could probably put the actual fog light assembly in here, but not only that, but it gives me a negative and a positive electrical lead, but it's not just uh, any electrical lead. This so happens to be on a switch, so whatever I put on these doesn't necessarily have to be a switch inserted into my interior, messing the interior up. The switch for this is the fog light switch, of course, so the lights were on I hit the fog lights then whatever's connected to this should come on so that's the plot there ah that will clip back in there and I think they just leave this clip so that way it's sealed if you guys notice that it's got the the seal on it that keeps it watertight so that plugs real nice so I could leave it plugged in and I could scotch lock into it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but that's great. I thought that was real interesting. We're gonna go check out the next little bit. We're gonna get inside here. I'm gonna show you what we have planned and then we're gonna get to it. We have the rear dome light. It's in this handle. This is the dome light. This comes on with the switch in the upper console up front with the other dome light. This is like a secondary map button so that way the passenger could just click their button without the need of the front one being activated so we're gonna leave this for now so we're gonna change this dome light out and the way we're gonna do that is right here on each side we have these little tabs this is the tab side the open side this piece is just it's like perforated plastic it's just a hinge so we're gonna pop it here and that'll be the hinge so it'll flip up pop it here and flip up and then uh, there's probably a Torx bit under here I'm not sure the size and then we'll just get behind this guys with uh, with a plastic panel popper or a pry tool, whatever you want to call it. Let's we'll pop this off and it should come out and give us access to this light. And then we'll come up here and we'll change the one in the console. Inside here, if I can get this open, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a Torx bit, one screw in here. So we'll take that out and then we'll start from this end and we'll pull on both sides at the same time and go all the way around pop this loose and that will give us access to this lens and we'll just pop all this loose and it'll come down there's probably some clips they're probably similar to the ones that were in this if you guys seen the video here of where I pulled this out and took this apart it just it literally just pops right up and there's just plastic metal pins and clips that sit in there and hold it real nice and firm so I'm assuming that that's what they used for a lot of the interior so that's probably what they used in here too. So we'll have a number of those along the sides. There'll be a wire or something that connects it to the electrical and the rest of the vehicle. So we'll investigate that. Here in the trunk, I have a little project. Check this out. There's this one light here and it might seem kind of bright now, but to me it seems off colored, like it's amber or something. It's not as quite as bright as I want it to be guys. When I'm working on something or whatever, I want to be able to light it up. And it would be cool when I go to the meets, you know, to have the color change. I'm going to put one of the color change dome lights in here. If you look up, there's a dome light here. So we'll probably change this one too. I think this thing actually just pops right out of there. And it's got a little clip on each side. I just clip, clip, and that ball will come right out and the new one will go right in. So that'd be real neat. Maybe we'll change, put a color change in here. We'll put the super white LED back behind there so that way it just lights everything up we're gonna get back 
to the inside. All right, guys, we're here in the back seat. I got a few tools. I got a screwdriver, Torx bits. This would probably honestly be better if it were plastic, but I think it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get these in. Up here, guys, we're gonna pull the handle down on this side here. A little bit of pressure, and look, it pops right up. And voila, there you go. That one's different than this one. This one is the one that has a spring for the handle in it. So it's a little longer, it covers up the spring. This one just has the hinge and they leave the hinge here exposed. So it's a little different on this side. I thought it was a T20. I said that in my live video today. And it sure is. It's a Torx 20 bit. Try much on that, did we? Well, that was really simple enough. Okay, so the rest of this fixture, the bulbs are right there. And let's see. Okay, that's the one for the math light. I need to put that right back where it was. Okay. So that came right out, this fixture, and we'll just re-insert this. I'm going to go ahead and activate the dome lights in here. Came right on. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it some flash. There it is, guys. This one we left in for now, but I really think it needs changed. I don't think the one's going to be quite enough to satisfy me. The white's okay. We'll just fit that back in there. We'll hold that tab and uh, Those are back in. We'll snug them up. Press that clip. Press that clip. There it is, guys. Same process. So you flip this down. This is the one with the spring this time. The spring is towards the back. The spring on this one's back here. The plastic bushing on that one is to the front. Anyway, I'll take my Torx 20 in here. We'll do the same thing and uh, we'll get this done. All right guys, we finally got them done in the back. Uh, we're gonna take a look back here. Let's check them out. That's the ones in the back. We got the other side done. Let's see, that's that side. There we go, it's still pretty bright out here guys. Still kind of hard to see, I'm sure. But now, we're on to this one. We're gonna go ahead and get this changed guys. One screw in here, if I can get to it, there it is. One screw that I'm probably working on losing. I really don't want to lose a screw. Maybe I get lucky. Eyeglass carrier catch it for me. This I want to pull right here. And that dome light will probably end up going off here in just a second. Yep. Oh uh, well, you know. Ah, and there we have that. See, there's the connectors. I knew those would be in there. That connects to the prongs here and here. That's what supply power. So those, when it goes back together, those have to be connected properly. That is a must. That can't go undone. But here are the dome lights, guys. These are the ones that would just plug in. We're gonna go ahead. There we go. We'll pull that out of there. It came off pretty easy, so we'll kind of fit it on, see how that goes, and then we'll have a look. Sweet! Alright guys, those are in. We're going to stuff that right back in there. Okay, well. 
boat looked like connected. Right? Ooh, nice line. Now they're safe. I think all of them together look pretty good. I was hoping to get the grill lights done and maybe the truck, but that'll probably have to wait till another day. Now, I'm not checking out the lights. Man, it looks better than what I thought. I'm kind of happy with it. It'll go good with the uh, blazer. We're definitely going to get them both lit up later on tonight and get some video of that. But for now, guys, I got to get out of here. Don't forget to like, this, share, and subscribe. Keep on trapping. Keep on trapping. Keep on trapping. We stand out like bird shit on a black shoe.